it changes you if you take a genetic editing. It's you who are change. It's the integration of those spheres. Just think of senses planted into our brains. The opportunities are immense to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. Chips Act because uh, it's an important step to create the physical brain for digitalization. So people assume uh, we are just going back uh, to the good old world which we had um, and everything will be normal again. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. The uh, cut which we have now um, is much too strong uh, in order not to leave traces. Oh, what a delightful and very trustworthy guy. And of course, how can he not? As, of course, he was an underling and taught everything he knows by, of course, great peaceful people like Henry Kissinger. Yeah, that, of course, is Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukadowski here of We Are Change.org. And man, oh man, do we have some shadowy, secretive bunch of bad people in our society calling the shots that, of course, are leaving us with some real-life havoc and chaos to deal with. Lots of crazy stuff happening all over the world, not just here domestically, but particularly internationally, with, of course, some terrifying new footage coming out of Ukraine, as, of course, the situation there has greatly the escalated, the saber rattling just got more severe, and overall it is diresome when it comes to any prospects of peace and negotiations, especially with the latest speech by, of course, Joe Biden that countered the president of Russia. What's going on here? Where will we be in the next few years? Well, we're going to be doing our best to describe that here on this independent media broadcast if we have that long. If you like the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, you can get it on the bestpoliticalshirts.com. The video that we played in the beginning of the broadcast, I don't know who did it. It's being shared around. I decided to play it here, but if you know who did it, let me know in the comment section below so I could credit the original creator of this video, highlighting some of the creepy comments by, of course, Klaus Schwab. This, as of course, in New York City, he and many other top globalists and luminaries are meeting right now during the UN General Assembly, including, of course, the Clintons who are meeting with BlackRock that are essentially promoting and shilling the corporate ESG. G social credit score, which of course has been pushing woke ideas and business interests along with companies and investments that of course that a lot of these powerful people make money off of. All of this while of course you get financially and economically screwed with now higher interest rates paying for the consequences of the largest transfer of wealth within the last few years. And who would have thought printing money out of thin air and giving it to some of the most richest people on Wall Street would have some consequences and would inflate the dire gee wow big surprise this says of course the u.s federal reserve is expected to raise interest rates even more to the highest level since 2008 as of course to deal with their reckless policies that of course have made the poor poorer and eviscerated the middle class of this country this says of course crime is running rampant and the government's response to this is of course a surveillance state that is absolutely not going to have any effect on it but will of course empower the government to watch every step that you make, as of course New York City just announced that they will be installing two security cameras on every train in New York City by the year 2025, giving another lucrative security contract in the millions of dollars, probably to another campaign donor of the unelected governor of New York, Kathy Hogel. And as her and her donors get rich, you of course are left with a situation with people almost trying to mug you at every street corner in New York City. All of this while the Federal Bureau of Investigations is on a wish hunt going after the political opponents of the current regime in power. This as an FBI whistleblower actually came forward and talked about how the Federal Bureau of Investigation has a, quote, political narrative and actually took people off of very important cases, cases that involved children being hurt. FBI agents were taken off of those cases and sent to go after grandmas and grandpas that, of course, walked into the capital of the United States on that fateful day of January 6th. This says, of course, everyone paying attention said, yeah, that, that's 
That's probably exactly what the FBI has been doing, as of course they don't have the best record with, of course, Larry Nasler and Mr. Epstein, that it looks like the FBI was aiding and abetting in some of the worst atrocities that could be committed on the face of this earth that we can't even say or describe here on this YouTube channel. Now, a lot of people are asking themselves, why do we have such upheaval, such crime, such poverty in our society? Well, of course, a lot of people are pointing to the last two and a half years under the Fauci regime that, of course, used emergency security laws and procedures to punish political opponents and allow the richest people in this country and this world to of course only become more richer with lockdowns and restrictions that of course affected everyone except of course the corporate cronies inside of Washington DC this was done bipartisanly by both the Democrats and Republicans this as we're finding out from a new book by a former aide of Dr. Fauci, former White House Deputy Press Secretary Brian Morganson claims that Dr. Fauci said that he could get people to believe anything that he wanted them to believe in, that he even mocked his own rules, his own lockdowns, and described them as, quote, bleep backwards, essentially making fun of all the people going along with the rules that he arbitrarily set without any kind of scientific backing or understanding. What, what, what was the science? What, what, what was the logic between the, the six feet, between the plexiglass, between all of the other bullcrap that we were forced to go through? Well, as we're finding out, nothing. There was none of that. There was Dr. Fauci mocking and making fun of people for going along with things that he literally took out of his tukis. This as he is trying to still grasp to the little power and influence that he has, as of course the White House and him himself are trying to walk back the latest comments by the President of the United States, who on 60 Minutes described how the larger scam against the American people is over and that we're no longer going through a health crisis. I'm ad-libbing here, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say here. And as Fauci's popularity is massively declining, as he's trying to grasp and hold the little influence that he still has, a lot of people are asking themselves, what is the end game of all of this? Why are they doing all of this? And... We're going to be doing our best to answer that, plus a lot more later on today on LukeUncensored.com, our own platform where we get to say and do what we want. You could sign up right now for just 50 cents a day on Stripe. We're also going to have Parallel Economy available for you guys here on this independent media platform that will provide you a video almost every single day exclusively only for members that is not family friendly. That, of course, gets into some hot button, hot topic issues that we cannot discuss here on this particular broadcast. Today, we, we, we will be discussing the end game and also what's happening in China with the massive amounts of quarantine camps that were just released from the latest drone footage that looks as if it's almost just completely made up. But this is the scale, the insanity of what some people are dealing with in this world because of an alleged health scare. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more. You also get exclusive merchandise, three master classes, a forum, and our effort to try to build a community of people trying to hold each other accountable and be the best versions of themselves. That plus a lot more all available on, of course, LukeUncensored.com. You can watch the new video as it's out right now in the making of this video. Just click the link down in the description below. Sign up on Stripe. It's very easy. It's very simple. It's very quick. 50 cents a day. And you can be a part of all the amazing things that happen behind the scenes with this independent media organization. See you there right after this video. As, of course, we're not done and there is still... A lot of extremely important information to talk about, especially when it comes to the latest foreign policy and geopolitical updates in Ukraine, the latest proxy war that is happening between the East and the West that, of course, is being deliberately prolonged as we're getting absolutely scary footage like this of Russian military hardware incendiary shells being rained down on a Ukrainian village. This, as there are many important updates in this larger proxy conflict that are worth paying attention to as of course in yesterday's video we told you 
We were all awaiting a very important announcement by the president of Russia that, of course, was also delayed. Some people are speculating that this major announcement by Putin was delayed because of a health scare and health issues that allegedly the president of Russia is dealing with. And either way, the delaying of, of this important announcement definitely shows you that there's a lot more things happening behind the scenes that, of course, the rest of the world is not still privy to. We still don't know what's going on. And if Vladimir Putin is not in good health this signals some problematic developments when it comes to the future decisions that he will be making now again it's still unclear on who to believe as of course Vladimir Putin in his speech announced a mobilization of another 300,000 troops inside of Russia in a speech where he also of course threatened the West with nuclear weapons over Ukraine telling the Western leaders that, quote, I am not bluffing. This, as of course, Russia is planning to annex Ukrainian territories in alleged upcoming elections that are supposed to be happening in contested territories. This, of course, will make them officially Russian territories. And if Russian territories are officially attacked, Putin will, of course, then have an excuse that he is conjuring up right now to, of course, respond back with a nuclear attack. And this is why when we look at Putin's comments here specifically setting up this scenario this situation where he's laying down the groundwork and specifically talking about territorial integrity using all means of at their disposal to defend Russia and their people we have to understand that this is directly correlated with the upcoming elections in the Ukrainian contested territories. What will be the results of those elections? We, of course, will be keeping a very close eye on it. They definitely probably will be contested by the West. And with the conflict in Ukraine definitely not going the Russian way, this, of course, is an extremely tumultuous situation that is a far more desperate and dangerous situation than I believe the U.S. corporate media is letting on to actually being. And again, we have seen the usual strong rhetoric from the Russians not usually being met by any kind of legitimate action. And again, what, what, what's being engineered here will have some significant consequences, as of course the trouble has been brewing here for a very long time. Again, Putin says it's, quote, very dangerous for Russia to, quote, weaken its sovereignty this as many diplomats world leaders and geopolitical experts are warning about the potential of this conflict escalating and not just becoming a proxy one but a real one a hot war between the east and the west as even the president of serbia came out and warned that this could create a great world conflict within just two months from now. Specifically warning that the planet is entering this great world conflict, which will be a military conflict not seen since World War II. We're also hearing from U.S. Western media outlets that a lot of Russian young men are fleeing the country, to the point where there's even some reports of the Russian government telling Russian airlines to stop selling tickets to Russians aged between 18 to 65. We were not able to corroborate this report, but it does make sense that, of course, some people would be fleeing the country, especially with the mobilization that Vladimir Putin just announced. What has been the response from the West to all of this? Well, of course, we got some kind of incoherent speech by the current president of the United States, but more importantly, NATO announced that it will be ramping up its weapons and ammunition production in order to give it to Ukraine. The U.S. Army former European commander came out and said that the United States will retaliate and with the quote devastating strike against Russia and its Black Sea fleet if Putin follows through on this threat to use nuclear weapons inside of Ukraine. And again, these are not the official of response by the current Biden administration that essentially criticized Vladimir Putin for what they described as a, quote, reckless nuclear threat and alleged shameless violation of UN charter. This as predominantly Biden concentrated his speech on, quote, the climate crisis. As it's important to note here that Western political leaders have, of course, been pressuring and pushing the Ukrainians to prolong this conflict and even on record Boris Johnson the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom when he was in power also pressured Zelensky to ditch any kind of possibility of peace talks when, with Russia as allegedly the Ukrainians were thinking about 
coming to the table and negotiating some kind of truce. Western powers have stopped this, and I think that is absolutely reckless. As, of course, people dying for the political ambitions of politicians on either side, I think is absolutely stupid. I think there's a lot of, uh, of dangers surrounding this current situation that should be taken very seriously. Peace deals, truces, negotiations should all be on the table and at least discussed but it is something that, of course, is patronized and attacked here in the United States, censored on big tech social media. And not being a fan of any government here, I have to say that, in my opinion, this is all absolutely reckless and crazy. And if you agree, you sharing this video is more important than ever, as, of course, the algorithm doesn't really like to promote these types of videos. There's two sides to every story. There's a lot of disinformation. There's a lot of propaganda when it comes to this entire conflict coming from both sides. The DOD just got caught using psychological PSYOP clandestine operations on the American people through social media. And, and I'm sorry, after those developments and, and many other developments, after so many lies, after the corporate media colluding with the military industrial complex, I think I have to say enough is enough. You agree with me? You sharing that message, you being the notification is more important than ever. If you disagree with me, if you think I fell for any of the disinformation from either side, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm not perfect. There's so much fake bullcrap out there. I hope I did a good job of breaking it all down. But holy cow, we should definitely be having a lot more discussions surrounding this topic, as of course this has been something that we've been passively not even caring about, and I think we should. I got one more video coming your way on LukeUncensored.com. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys watching these videos all the way up until the very end. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on WeAreChange.org.